How's everybody doing on this uh, lovely Wednesday of June? Good to see you all. Chuck, good to see you. Bones, Lawrence, Gene, good to see you. All these great traders. Debbie, good to see you. Grant, Mark, good to see you. Ken Thal, good to see you all. All right, and all you cyber traders, hopefully everyone is uh, staying inside. It is an oven out here in New York. I don't know where you are, but uh, it's going to be a hot one. Looks like for summer has finally arrived, so my flowers are going to be taken care of. That's good to hear. And uh, kids, today's my last day. My kids are having school, elementary school, so they're pretty excited too. So we're not going to make some money today and hopefully <laughs> I'll pay for their college. But let's go over and look and see what's going on. We had a really uh, 70 degrees where you in Scotland today, John? Nice. All right. Ken, you got 93 where you are in Florida? All right. Anyone else? Anyone else anywhere in the world that's pretty cold? Where, how's the way you are, Andrea? You're up in Toronto, right? That's right. We got the Celsius guys. Casey's got 23 degrees. Houston is all, it's always hot in Houston. 75 in uh, Orthorn, New Jersey, Mario, uh, Mark. 55 in Jacksonville, Wyoming. All right. All right, anyway, so there goes the weather broadcast, right? So let's get right to trading. So anyway, let's talk about what's going on. For today uh, and uh, what happened yesterday first of all uh, you know Bitcoin took a little bit of a run yesterday so um, our RIOT had a little bit of a pop and let me just fix the time frame on this right here had a little bit of a pop but then it dropped off I don't know you could see it right here from 250 up to 350 so I, I don't know what's going on with Bitcoin but um, you, you know uh, remember with the level four that we're trading with you can trade and see all the big iceberg orders on Bitcoin. But, you know, we're looking at the stocks because there are some stocks that do trade with it. Not really that much out there. I mean, there was also the MARA was another one that also moved yesterday. You could see it. Not a lot out there. I mean, this is, it's moving up a little bit this morning, but not a lot. Uh, TVA was another one that we traded yesterday. That did pretty good, like, in the middle of the day. It went from 8 to about um, 9. You can see that one. U.S. Steel was pretty, uh, was an interesting play. Had a huge pop right in the middle of the day, 14 to 60, all the way to 15, 40. I think there was a rumor going around that the chief, uh, uh, the CFO, um, CO was a, C, was a chief uh, operating officer, uh, kind of resigned. Don't know what that's all about. And, and I thought that was a bad, bad news, obviously. Good news. I think that's, I don't know what was the news on it, but that obviously moved. And the STLD, uh, Followed with it, you know, a couple of other ones. And then um, there was one stock that we traded, WKHS. That one was probably the easiest one out of them all yesterday. It was kind of slow. You could trade a lot of shares of it, but that was about it. It wasn't a great day. It was really, really slow. And, you know, we did phase three yesterday, and I told that we had a pretty decent morning um, in class. We were talking about entries and exit points. But overall, it wasn't really that much going on. And you know what? That's okay because it really is the best time to learn how to trade at this time of the year because we all know September, October, November are the best years to trade. So, um, but there are a couple of ones that are moving this morning. Once again, it, 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 this is hump day. It's Wednesday. You are going and need to be prepared because we're going into one of the bi um, biggest uh, days of the year, uh, which is 4th of July here in the United States. And... Because it falls on a Thursday, right? Thursday falls on? Yeah, it falls on a Thursday. I'm telling you, it could be, it's going to be dead until Wednesday. I hate, you know, if you remember last year, I hate when you have holidays. I really do don't like holidays at all. People like look at me like, what's wrong with the holiday, Fausto? Because you know what? We lose so much days off from work. And it just really takes time for the market to catch up because everybody's on vacation. And I, I feel like I lose like a week of trading. And it really stinks. It really does. So, I mean, don't, don't call me negative. I know people like it. But when you really think about it, you know, people are going to be off on Wednesday. You got Thursday. Friday is going to be really so slow. Monday, people are going to be rolling in on the 8th. So what are you going to be talking about? In the 9th when things are going to start picking up? And it's already starting to happen right now, especially this weekend. I mean, it's going to be gorgeous. I know a lot of people are leaving early for the Hamptons over here uh, in New York. So um, let's try to make the best of it. But there are a couple of things that are moving. The only good thing that I found is that, this, that uh, there, there are a couple of stocks that are moving in the middle of the day. So 
Pre-market so far last couple of days have not been the greatest. Let's start off with ACST. So that one I found early this morning. I know some of us saw, but she just backed right off. She went from a a, a buck fifteen all the way to a buck thirty five. She came right back down. I don't know what that's all about, but she did trade one hundred forty um, one point four million shares. She's got great orders everywhere. She is testing some support levels right around here. So I like that one right there. Micron had a nice pop yesterday, uh, right after hours. I don't know, maybe it was probably earnings. I would assume, uh, but up uh, one point five million shares also about ten percent. Micron took a major, major hit lately. It looks like it's got major resistance right around here around 36. Um, this is when we're, ta we're talking probably in the, in the three category, level three. So remember, if you're not a level three trader, be careful with Micron. And uh, with Micron, M M um, AMD will trade side by side with that. So put AMD with it because they basically in the same business. And also in the video, which by the way, you know we're not going to trade. What else we got? Plug. Everybody remember Plug? Plug's got a little, little little thing that's going on over here. It's up about 10%. Big order right there, 45 smackaroo shares right there at, at 230. That's why we're basically hovering. It looked like it just backed off right there. We need that guy to get done, another big order right here. But at Stock Trade, a lot of shares. This is really nice if you're a level one trader. Stock obviously has been taking a little bit of a hit over here. You can see here in the long-term chart, uh, really was almost as high as uh, 26, 270. You know, down a dollar is a lot. Make a little bit of a comeback. You know, if you're a beginner trader, this is right up your alley. So that's not bad. Beyond Meats, my God, this thing is like all over the place. That IPO was just phenomenal. Beyond Meats uh, went all the way to 200. This was this was probably the best IPO out this year. Who would ever thought Beyond Meats? But um, she's up pretty big. $160 stock. You know, guys, we don't like to trade $160 stock. But if you're a level five trader... And you don't find anything. This is really up your alley. You could see just on the orders on the right. Not really a lot out there. Um, there's one stock L. What is this right here? The oh, here it is right here. Uh, it's only down five percent. But anyway, uh, this stock is also taking a little bit of a hit right here. It looks like it might come back a little bit, but um, I I only like it because. There's a major support levels right around here, around 17. So if it holds right here, you know, just right below it, you might get a little bit of a bounce. So that was the only stock that I had out there. Now, um, what about uh, Ming says? What about the ABBV trade? Was it ABBV? There we go. You know, this stock took a huge hit yesterday. You could see it went from 78 down to 66. This stock, you might get a little bit of a dead cap bounce because we're pretty desperate in a way that we don't really have that much out there. I will throw it on the watch list. But, um, you know, the thing is, it's, it's got to break. You, you're going to have to use yesterday's resistance levels to kind of know where you are right there. If it breaks those resistance levels uh, from yesterday, then it probably go higher. But be very careful. It's still on the expensive side. So... You know, it's it's pretty volatile. The spread got pretty nasty. And not only that, there were a lot of 100 share orders on each on each price. ETNP. Okay, so that one just made a little bit of a pop right there. You could see it right now. Uh, 17, up 17%, 114,000 shares, great orders. It definitely, I'll put that on the watch list. I think that one's a little bit better than some of the other ones that we found. So the TTNP. Rich, good call. You're... Um, your medical news is that what just came out on it? Okay, well that looks pretty good. You see, guys, remember what I told you? Why we're part of Cyber Trade University? It's not about me. It's about us working together like a team. All right. So th the whole idea is, if we could train you how to play the game, we all make money together. Remember, it's not the Fausto show, guys. It's the Cyber Trade. You're a Cyber Trader. We're all traders here, and it's all a team effort. But that's what it's all about. Good call, uh, Rich. Uh, see something, say something, Ken. Exactly. That's what it's all about. All right, everybody, listen. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate um, what's going on. Now, regarding about classes phase three, they were moved to Thursday. So we're going to have um, phase three, um, lesson three and four are going to be on Thursday, okay? So uh, I'll see you all then. In the meantime, uh, we'll see you back at 2.30 and uh, let's see, and, and see if we could trade something. Once again, just like Ken said, see something, say something. And I'll hold you trial members. Hopefully you have enjoyed your time and learning uh, what's going on. All right, because remember, trading, it's a great job, best job of the world, but it's not for everyone. So um, see it. If you like it, we'll let you know what you need to do. If you don't, that's okay too. 
You can always go back to your day job. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.